Welcome back to Wings of Liberty campaign. Last time we got rid of the Broodlord, which will make turtling in the final mission much, much easier. Now let's get ready for the final mission. Since this is the final mission, we have no use of these credits, so we'll go ahead and pick up anything we like. Starting with the armory. First of all, doing this mission means that we should be prepared for just about anything, at least on the ground. So first of all, I want missile turret health because we do have a lot of resources to spare. Second of all, I want the uh, all the Banshee upgrades. We will keep some Banshees as anti nidus Worm Squad. I don't understand why after the upgrade these units stop being animated. It's kind of lame. All Ghost upgrades would be nice as well for sniping. As you can see, the permanent cloak makes it very useful. To, uh, partly to avoid attacks if you're dealing with overlords and stuff. Ghost also good at dealing with overlords, both with basic attacks and also snipe if you want to get rid of them quickly. Now, I should also pick up, I guess, the Viking upgrade and also the Goliath upgrade. These units are basically emergency. Goliaths are decent against ground, and Vikings are kind of okay at clearing out overlords. Now, that kind of wraps it up for the upgrades. Let's go ahead into mercenaries to spend the rest of our resource, starting with the most important ones. Siege tank, useful on any mission. I wouldn't even consider them a waste of money if you bought them early on. Although I would not consider it smart to delay your orbital command for them. Second up, Banshees, of course, part of our main unit composition in this mission, so having some would not be a bad idea. Battle cruisers, always nice to have. Spartan Company, the Goliath, good to have for support if for whatever reason you ran out of units. Then probably following up with Vikings and the uh, Marauders. I don't want to get the fire bat because unless, of course, there's like two zerglings in my base and I really needed some fire bats, I would not be picking those up. Fire bats are just so shit. Uh, let's see, what else can we get? Base, missile turret, might as well get this. Really, I feel like the, the AOE missile turret damage is probably better than the freaking fire bats. So last thing we need to do is research. We've been saving this point. This one is for the air to take over the Broodlords. This one makes everything slower on the ground, which is very, very important, allowing you to get that extra siege tank damage in. And considering how much damage siege tanks do, we can sort of see how this is not just a joke. And it's actually very, very beneficial to have. And with that, we are finally prepared for the final mission. So let's jump right in. It seems my faith in your abilities has been vindicated, Commander Raynor. Now the final blow must be struck. Use the artifact to neutralize the Queen of Blades and bring this bloodshed to an end. The Engineer Corps is moving the Zelnaga artifact to the base of the primary hive cluster. We'll entrench the last of our defenses all around it. Unfortunately, it's going to take some time to charge up the device for a strike against the Queen of Blades. Intel provided by the Mobius Foundation suggests that the Zerg will be attracted by the artifact's pulse emanations. Once it's activated, all nearby Zerg will go into a frenzy trying to reach it. There's no way we can beat a sustained Zerg attack with what we've got left. The artifact itself may help with that. According to Intel, it can discharge what they're calling an energy nova that should kill any Zerg within its radius. Whoa. It takes time to recharge after each use. Otherwise, this would be easy. You'll have to activate the Energy Nova manually. Fortunately, it pulses on a subsonic frequency, so we'll be immune to its effects. Recharge and no. I'll take all the help we can get right now, General. Remember, Kerrigan's still out there waiting for us. How could we forget? Now, the Energy Nova does set the ground on fire, so even if your initial attack misses some Zerg, it can still deal heavy damage to anything left in the area. The Energy Nova is good for clearing the wave of units that comes along with Kerrigan, leaving you only Kerrigan to deal with. It's good at clearing overlords that drop units in your base, so use them for kind of that purpose. You've brought me the Zelnaga artifact. It was good of you to save me the trouble of finding it for myself. Warning, large Zerg force incoming. We're not ready for this many. We'll have to use the artifact. And 
impressive defense, but not nearly impressive enough. My forces are without number, and yours are dwindling by the minute. This can only end one way. The broodlord that mute us in the base knows better. It's not gonna come over here. I guess it's also good that we get this. Commander, the Zerg will try to overrun us soon. Like they do give you SCVs to mine gas, so. As as if things get out of hand, use the energy nova to clear out your base. The recharge time is pretty fast, so don't hesitate to use it. I don't know, hesitating required there. Go ahead and load up the bunkers. We'll be good getting two bunkers on each side. D-Pod's uh, actually looking pretty good. Okay, you guys go here, you can make one of these bunkers. And uh, you can start making tanks. Tanks are really important. Repair people are here. Ah, just to keep the battle cruisers in the base. They're nice. They're nice to have. Start making the banshees as well. Start doing this. Um, just don't really know why I got that. Go ahead and fill the bunkers. Now, I want to start getting these right away. It'll help us with the uh, slowing effect. Guess I'll put one up top. Apparently the hotkey is I. Go ahead and get this set up. Tank set up. Well, I got the tanks going on. That's good. Also get the ghost going on. Did I tell you to stop making that? I don't remember telling you to stop making that, so start making that. Uh, I can use that. The artifact's energy nova is fully recharged. I'll get that in as well. Get the vehicle upgrades, get the uh, guys with guns upgrades. And as you can see, the main thing that's going to prevent you from doing this mission however you like is, of course, the gas. I think our Banshee count is looking good. Right now, the only thing that we really care about is gas and how we spend it. You can sort of see why I say Paradition turrets are a good idea for this mission now, because they don't cost any gas. So they'll allow you to have a good mineral sink that does a good amount of damage to a Zerglings, while your siege tanks sort of work on everything else. Not saying we're kind of running a surplus, a huge surplus of minerals either. It's just that they help. Okay, you can go back there and fix the garbage. Paradition turrets are almost up. Get two more tanks. Um, I think having a turret here might be a good idea. That'll get rid of any units that can spot the high ground for us. These things are actually pretty fucking tanky. Okay, Banshees, you're up. Such arrogance. Night is warming so close to my base. Okay, I think actually getting ship armor from now on is good. Ship armor allows our Banshees to survive much longer. Are looking good. 
Have these things over here. Okay, so basically our three sources of gas is... Oh, I actually missed one. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. You can see how slow the Ultralisks actually get, and how uh, worthless they actually get. Get the science vessel here. Oh, well, there's the Overseer. Come on, stop trying to fix that. Well, at least we're starting to need depots, and that's actually a good sign. Shows that we're getting a lot of units. We're not losing a lot of units. I am continuing to make SCVs because I can send these over. Can get a few more Banshees. Can get the upgrades once we have the gas. Oh, there's the first time Kerrigan shows up. I'm tired of working through others. It's time I took a personal hand in your demise. Okay, let's get this shit ready. First of all, Energy Nova gets rid of all the units. Kerrigan will start, start being on fire. There we go. I don't even think she brought up the storm. You'll regret that. We've driven her back. Keep it up. That's actually a lot of Nidus Worms. Uh, it could potentially get ugly, you know. Okay, let's go ahead and get our upgrades. Of course, prioritizing defense because the Banshees themselves do deal a lot of damage and we have enough of them that, well, we just don't really give a shit. Mostly what we're dealing with is Hydras with low damage and high attack speed. So that armor is going to work really, really well for uh, surviving against Hydras. Gonna go ahead and max out our uh, thing. No more Nidus Worms. You know what, you can hold position here. Get me another tank. Somehow the Nidus Worms are spawning in our base. Uh, I think what we can do is get another one of these. No, I don't want that. I think having a few more Banshees would be good. It's going to allow us to uh, to hit the Nidus Worms. Another round of worm spawning, so that's good. That means that no spawn is going to come from the worms to sort of bug us. I will get more tanks. I think the tank count is actually looking pretty good at this point. Sir, Banshee count looks good. Massive overlords heading your way. Ready your air defenses. Now the battle cruisers do serve as good anti overlords. And that's sort of one of the reasons why I kept them alive. If you keep them at the front, then they will get annihilated by well just about everything. Uh, no, actually, they get a line they by Kerrigan. Oh, 
Well, we're shooting these pretty well. Perdition turrets are making sure none of these things actually get dropped. Class 12 psionic waveform detected. The Queen of Blades has returned. How are you all from my world? Well, there's Kerrigan. We should probably set her on fire. So let's do that. Let's set her on fire. She'll start losing health. Oh, I think this is the part where she starts storming, right? Oh, she one hit one of our tanks. Kerrigan's going underground. Pour it on, troops. Well, we managed to get rid of that, and I think we actually burned a few worms as well. Seems like Ultralisk's incoming. Not too much of a problem, although it is kind of a problem since this is uh, not the part we like. Like, Kerrigan just did a good number on that, so it probably shouldn't be, you know, attacking that way. Or at least I would have appreciated if they attacked somewhere else. Might as well clear out the spines, right? Any amount of damage you can deal is good damage. Ah, look at that, the spine crawlers. You know what? I'll leave that Banshee alone for a while. Our Banshee squad. Getting rid of the worms. I kind of wonder how these spine crawlers got here. I mean, they take an eternity and a half to walk off creep. So it's kind of odd how they got here. Oh, there's a second wave of spawns. Get the carapace, so I guess pick up the armor. Well, I've been clearing the worms pretty well. Um, what can we do at this point? Paradition turrets. Those things are like the free things. The free wall that actually Packs quite a punch. The artifact's energy nova is fully recharged. Are we all out of skivas over here? In the rear with the gear. Oh great. Yep. That thing died. Well, we got good slow coverage over here. I got this. Go. Loud and clear. No problem. You know, now that we have time, we might as well just go and smash some garbage, right? This garbage. This garbage. This garbage. Give me the sit red. Class 12 psionic waveform detected. The Queen of Blades has returned. You fools should never have come here. Okay, so she's moving out from this side this time. Go and set her on fire. As long as we're not the first ones to open fire, then it's good. Like the ghosts, they should not be the first ones to actually, you know what? That looks like an armed storm. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's basically what you have to watch out for. Where are the medics? Medics? I guess there's two left. Those two really should be here, because, uh... Well, there's kind of a lack of bio there. I'm pretty sure the Skivas can take care of themselves. This ghost, however, cannot. Uh, we'll make medics for now. It'll just heal them up a little bit faster. That one is sort of protected by a spore. We'll let the units attack first. Then I'll attack the worms. And then I'll probably work towards this one. I feel like this side's got it. 
What, are you maxed? Yeah, you're maxed. I really don't care much for the vehicle armor at this point. Although I might as well get it, right? It's like it's not necessary, but whatever. That is a one and a half shit tons of worms. Uh, we should probably get rid of that. Now the good thing is the worms are rather close to our base, so the tanks will be able to provide support fire. Way to go me, cloaking beside two overseers. Okay, I think that's enough of that. I feel like the energy might actually survive long enough to uh, finish the mission all cloaked. We do have that energy ability, which gives us more of the energy. And right now it seems like the worms are not spawning anything too, too serious. Get the siege tank. That and the worm. Yeah. Okay, let's just get back here and get ourselves fixed up. Upgrade. Get the vehicle upgrade. Not that it's that important. I mean, the only reason why we ever lose tanks is because of Kerrigan. Speaking of which. Your play forces beyond your comprehension. Let's just go ahead and make these turrets right in front of her. So Wipe out all the other units. It does take a little bit of damage to fire. Oh god. She's on the run, man. Let's keep the pressure on. Well, that's good. At least we got rid of Kerrigan with, I would say, acceptable losses. Tanks taking a beating. But other than that, I would say everything else is in the acceptable range. Ghosts never died. So you can sort of see why I don't like the Spectres in here. If the Spectres were charging in that time, you can't exactly get them out in time. So that's why I say Ghosts are better against Kerrigan. Also, that spam spam snipe is... I, I consider that being more effective than the Spectre's channel ability. Where are they this time? Oh, the artifact is taking damage. It is taking damage. Actually, I didn't need to be there. Tank got it. Banshees, clear the ground. Two volleys is very nice. It allows me to uh, get the shit away. Line them up, line up the Hydras. Walk away from the Hydras. Get rid of the worm. Apparently there's more over here. And now all we have to worry about is this side. That's actually kind of annoying, to be honest. That is the slide that got weakened by Kerrigan, so it's not going to have as much units. Gonna do the good old cloak, gonna avoid some hydras. 
artifact's energy is peaking. Just hold out a little longer. Oh no, you're not getting that in position. Oh shit. That is not good. That is that that is not a good place for Banshees to be. Holy shit, how many did we lose? It's a good thing we have extra gas. Well, we're down to a two hitting the things again, but at least we can still two hit them. Might be a good time to use the artifacts, Nova, sir. That is a lot of Nidus worms, and uh, he is right. It is a good time to use the Nova, but a lot of these Nidus worms are actually out of range. This has gone on long enough. Not great. Hello, Kerrigan. Goodbye, Kerrigan. Oh, there's the hate. There's the hate storm. There's the mass snipe. Snipe faster, go snipe faster. No, no, not the tanks. Not the tanks. Oh shit, the tanks. Well, at least all these things are getting lit on fire. Fire's good. Fire's good, fire's good, get rid of the Zerg. How did this thing survive with 19 HP? Get rid of it! Why is there a Nidus Worm over here? Why? Why did they spawn a Nidus Worm in my freaking base? Well, unfortunately, we were not able to keep our base clean of Zerg crap. And also, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a second round of Overlords that came. Somehow that never happened. There's also a bunch of other weird glitches where Kerrigan's sort of a pacifist. She she decides to attack and then reconsiders, locks back, ladles around the base for a while, gets stuck around buildings here and there. Last mission is not exactly the most glitch free. Total units lost, 39. For the last mission, I'd say it's pretty good. Energy Nova is used, 5. I know I said I try not to use them, but that ended up being a lie. It's okay. I got you.
I'd just like to point out that one of the marines had written on his gun, Zerg sucks. Well, I guess that's the end of the campaign. Thanks for watching, and yeah.